I was extremely happy and complimented that I got the fight, uh, especially being that it was a really legitimate heavyweight fight and the first one that's been in California for 21 years at that time. Um, I had refereed Deontay Wilder four times prior to this fight, so I was quite familiar with, uh, with Wilder. I hadn't refereed Fury, but I'd watched his fights, so it was pretty easy for me to go back and rewatch his fights to look for tendencies and to see what I was going to be dealing with. You could cut the tension with a knife. It is the most awesome feeling that you can imagine that these two giants are about to get it on and all these people are there, you know, in, in anticipation of what's going to happen. And uh, I genuinely felt at the time they didn't like each other and I just thought it was going to be a great fight. I didn't expect it to go to distance. Um, and I was hoping, I was very pleasantly surprised that uh, Tyson Fury was able to box and move the way he did. It amazed me how he could slip and bob a guy 6'9", 256, and he kept it up for 12 rounds. I was amazed. I saw it a little bit differently than what the judges did. Uh, and during those first four rounds, I believe the judges gave most of those four rounds to Tyson Fury for his boxing. But I was looking at it as, as if uh, Deontay was the effective aggressor. He was the one uh, controlling where to fight in the ring and walking uh, Tyson down, landing some jabs and landing some good shots. Um, I really felt it was the other way around. I'm not scoring it per se, but I'm keeping a mental note of what I feel is happening, who's winning, who's losing, for the sole purpose of if it's one, totally one-sided, lopsided, I start worrying and wondering if I have to pull this guy out of a fight, the losing fighter out of a fight. In this case, this fight was so close, I didn't have that worry at all. I knew it was close, I didn't know who was ahead. L let me just back up and say this, any championship referee will tell you this. 9, 10, 11, and 12, the championship rounds, things happen. So when those rounds come, I don't know how to say I'm more focused, but I'm even hyper-focused on those four rounds. I told both of them the exact same thing. I said, I'm gonna give you every opportunity to get up and prove to me that you are able to physically and intelligently defend yourself. Oh, and down he goes! Right hand, left hand! I was very pleased with my, uh, my role in the fight in many different ways. You guys didn't see me except twice in the whole fight. Nobody spoke about me for, except twice in the fight. The ninth round knockdown and the twelfth round knockdown. So I did my job and stayed away. And obviously what happened in that 12th round that he got up and responded the way he did demonstrates that the decision I was made was correct. So I'm really happy. I think it was the best decision I've ever made in a boxing match to this date, for myself anyway. It's a multitude of reasons on why I uh, didn't think it was over at that time. I want to just let everybody know I was a fireman for 31 years with the Los Angeles Fire Department. I was an EMT, emergency medical technician, and I was a captain on a paramedic engine for 20 years. So we went to trauma all the times, car accidents, shootings, stabbings, beatings. I'm very familiar with trauma, plus being a referee for 21, at the time, 21 years. I'm, I'm comfortable with trauma, and what I'm really comfortable with is reading body language. So when he went down, that was a devastating shot. He got hit with two beautiful shots and fell flat on his back. When I asked Wilder to go to the corner and I picked up the count, when I turned back around, one of the things I instinctually noticed was that Tyson's right foot was up. And it wasn't caught under his left foot. It was up. He was holding it up on his own, which told me he's probably not out if he's holding his foot up. And I was always taught also, count a champion out. Give them the benefit of the doubt. You know, people want to see a definitive ending. Count him out. So I scooted in to see what I got, and as I was coming in, I don't know if you're gonna be able to pick this up on camera, but Tyson was laying flat on his back, and as I came in, he went like this. So he acknowledged he was awake. He, he looked at me when I was coming towards him. So then I got in, went over, went over him, so because it was loud, and I got right over him, and I was giving him this, the um, counting out the numbers, and I was giving him the numbers with my hands at the same time so he wouldn't be confused. Two things happened. When I got to about five, his eyes were, her eyes weren't totally open, but when I got to five, he popped his eyes wide open. So I, I, you know, I thought, he's back. And then when I started counting, I was thinking, I don't know if he's gonna beat the count, but we'll see, you know, stuff like that was going through my head. I just kept counting and he was up by nine. Right at nine, he was up. I said, are you okay? He looked at me and he said, yes. 
I said, do you want to continue? He looked at me and he said, yes. And because of the, it was a 12th round of a heavyweight fight. These guys were strong men and big men. And the devastating knockdown, I said, walk to the right, three steps and come back to me. And he was in full control of his body. He actually did a little bit of a bounce step and came back to me. And then I just turned, held him, make sure, turned to make sure that Wilder was still in his corner and said, fight. In the old days, we used to make them walk forward to see how their gait is and if they, can, they have full control of their body. But the ringside physicians taught us that any drunk could stagger two, three steps forward. You gotta make them, to see that if they have control of their body, you gotta make them walk to the right or left because it's very hard for them to navigate turning. And that's what we do. And after that, because he had just been knocked down so hard, I, I closed my distance. I changed my distance and stay a lot closer because it's normal for the fighter who knocked the other guy down to come in for the kill. And it, if he can make it out of those next 20 to 30 seconds, that would be great. And that's exactly what Tyson did. He survived those next 20 seconds when uh, Deontay came in to finish him. And he, he wrapped him up, he held, he moved away a little bit, which was perfect. And then as everybody saw, after that first 20 seconds after the knockdown, he came back and I believe he won the rest of that round. My take on it is, you know, boxing isn't what it was in the 1900s where you could hit a guy as soon as his hand comes up off the ground. And we had a lot more deaths. At, like football now, there's no head-to-head -head contact with helmets. Hockey, they don't hit each other against the boards from behind anymore. And boxing's evolving like every other sport for safety. And it's a standard practice now, and it's in writing, that if you're not sure of a fighter's condition, you make him walk one way or another to assure that he can intelligently defend himself and carry his weight and protect himself. And my count, was, my count itself was absolutely on the money. I'm not saying I'm perfect, but I just happened to be pretty damn good that night. And he was up, as I was saying, nine. And as far as a long count or making him walk right or left, they just don't understand our job and our role. My, my biggest priority is safety. And I have to make sure I'm about to let a tornado across the ring come at this guy. I got to make sure he can defend himself. And that's exactly what Wilder did. He came out like a tornado with those big bombs trying to knock him out. And uh, the other side of it is, if he would have got hurt, you guys, I'd be the most unpopular guy in the world right now. It seemed like they were both content not to lose and they were hugging each other and uh, you know, I don't know what they were thinking at the time, but my first thought was, wow, it'll be a hell of a rematch and here we are. I think this will be great. I think this will be a better rematch than uh, many rematches that you've seen in the past. There's a lot of emotion, a lot of adrenaline involved and it's gonna be great.